All right, so maybe you got a red dot and you're noticing that the reticle or the dot isn't quite what you expected it to be. Now it should in theory be a nice crisp, clean dot, but to some people it could look like a cluster of grapes, it could look like a starburst, uh, a half moon shape, really it could be any number of shapes going on. And what we've seen many times is that this is just the result of an astigmatism. And an astigmatism basically is in our eye and essentially what's happening inside of a red dot is we're getting a reflection of a red LED and the way that that reflection happens can mess with our eyes if we do have an astigmatism and cause some pretty crazy looking versions of a dot. Now, many people might not always know right offhand that they do have an astigmatism, but one thing that we know doesn't have an astigmatism is our cameras. And we all nowadays pretty much have a camera right on our phone. And what you can do to check to see if it's not the optic and it is indeed potentially your eye in this case is grab your phone and bring it out and just go to your camera app and then get behind the optic to take a photo. And uh, you know, one thing that you're gonna wanna do, of course, is keep in mind that even a phone camera, which doesn't have an astigmatism, isn't going to account for the fact if your reticle or your illumination is too bright. Now, one thing that we have seen in the past is actually people's eyes are perfectly fine, but they have their illumination way too bright. If they're indoors or the light really isn't like a bright, sunny, midday, out in the wide open, and they crank the illumination up all the way, you might start seeing a red halo around. Keep in mind, your camera is still gonna pick that up, but that's just because your illumination is way too bright. Now, if we have our illumination at a proper setting, we should be able to just get right behind our optic here in this case, but then we'll get right behind the optic and we should start seeing what is a nice crisp dot. Again, that would mean that the optic is in this case doing what it's supposed to and it is indeed our eye with an astigmatism. One thing that people do get kind of tripped up on sometimes is because our phones have this autofocus, this tap to autofocus, it's intuitive to want to tap to autofocus right here where we're looking through the optic and try and tap on that dot. Now, your phone is going to perceive that as trying to focus right here, right in front of us. But due to many reasons, and, and part of the reason why red dots are essentially parallax free, actually the red dot in there is sort of optimized, if you will, for about 50 yards down range. And so if we're trying to focus our camera right here, right in front of us, the red dot will actually look blurry still. So sometimes people are trying to get that and they say that they actually are still seeing a blurry dot, but it's really just the camera isn't focusing quite right. So what you're gonna wanna actually do, instead of tapping, so to speak, on your phone here with the autofocus right on the red dot, tap down range. So I'm gonna hit the screen here right on the wall beyond the red dot. And then you can snap a photo if you like, you can take a video. Um, but in this case, we snap the photo, we'll show you here the photo that we snapped. And uh, you can see, again, if you're seeing anything other than a crisp dot, well, then actually it could very well be the optic. Keep in mind, this isn't something we see very often at all. I mean, that actual LED, since we're seeing a reflection of it, would have to be pretty messed up in and of itself to actually show something other than a crisp dot. So if you're seeing anything other than that, give us a call or something like that. We're happy to get you taken care of. But if you are indeed seeing that it is a clean dot and it's really just your eye perceiving that wrong, keep in mind you're not out of the game entirely. Some people's astigmatism isn't so bad that they can't use the site. They can still use it. It's just going to be a little bit blurry. Um, other folks, maybe it is bad enough that you really just can't use this thing. And in that case, maybe try checking out something like a 1-6 to or even a Spitfire AR prismatic scope. See, those scopes have a physical, actual reticle inside them, a glass etch reticle, for example. They can be illuminated, but your eye perceives a physical reticle that it can look through much, much better, even if you have an astigmatism, than it does a reflection of an LED light, which happens in red dots like this. So hopefully this helps maybe explain a little bit more about the astigmatism and hopes, uh, it helps you kind of guide you through the camera troubleshooting process. If you have any other questions, always feel free to give us a call, shoot us an email, or hit us up on social media, and we'd be happy to help you out further with this kind of thing. So thanks for watching, everybody, and happy shooting.